Hey everyone, I'm here at the Dallas Temple. We've just come up here for the last couple of days for a convention and uh, thought we would do the scripture seminary digs right here. This is for 3rd Nephi chapter 20 through 26. And I want to just testify of the power of an object lesson like the Savior did. He would use an object lesson to capture our attention or recapture our attention and be able to focus. Kind of like on our way to Dallas, we stopped at a few Bucky's. We, we, we uh, got out of the car, stretched our legs, and then went on to our destination. Bucky's wasn't a distraction. It was a vital recharge for us to keep going. And that's what an object lesson or a picture or a little, little timely activity can do. So as you go into these chapters, you'll notice that this is Jesus Christ and the, the effects that he has on people. For 200 years, imagine 200 years with no contention, he would change these people. Can you imagine even one year with no violence or contention or, or foibles in government? That's amazing. And so keep in mind that all of these teachings would help prepare a people for 200 years of peace. Uh, for example, an object lesson could be that you bring a sacrament tray, a sac two trays, or a loaf of bread and talk about miracul how miraculous the sacrament is. In chapter 20, you could also bring a Book of Mormon or a picture of gold plates. In chapter 21, you could bring a steak and talk about where we get the word steak from and how Isaiah introduced the word steak. You could do you could then talk about Jesus commanding us to search diligently the words of Isaiah. If the prophet speaks, we listen. Imagine even now then if Jesus speaks, we listen. If he were to come and tell us to do something diligently, I, th I think that's a wonderful opportunity to testify to students. In chapter 24, we get to Malachi. Jesus quotes Malachi and he, uses, he talks about tithing and temple work and gems. You may bring a gem and just have the students get up out of their seats and look at a gem. It, it, it recharges, it revitalizes the lesson to have students get up and out of their seats and look at something. And then we're right back into the, the lesson of the scriptures. In chapter 25, you have beautiful title of Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, and he will rise with healing in his wings. You might bring a little bird or a picture of a bird and talk about why Jesus and wings go perfectly together. And then you end by chapter 26, uh, how there is so much more. Jesus Christ is ready to give us so much more than what we have. If we'll just be faithful to what we do have. Finally, some words of doctrinal mastery. You might want to just do what the curriculum says and have them work on searching for a cross-reference. And then they'll get to know one or two doctrinal masteries better. And maybe you can bring a Halloween object and just say, hey, the first one to memorize these two phrases gets to have a little treat from the Halloween jar. I, I know that this is the Lord's work and all these little things can add up to an, an edifying experience. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.